Hey guys, Stephen Wagner here, the resident VDI guy. Um, have some time this morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Uh, thought I would just do a quick demonstration video showcasing NVIDIA vGPU sitting on Omnissa Horizon. Uh, I've been noticing that there hasn't been a lot of content on YouTube lately covering vGPU technologies. So uh, with me finding a little bit of time, I thought I would drive, dive in and just do a quick demo video. Now, uh, in my environment, I have uh, a couple of very old HPE DL360P Gen 8 servers with uh, dual 10-core CPUs. Uh, inside of one of the DL360Ps, I have an NVIDIA A2 vGPU. And then in the other server, I have an NVIDIA L4 GPU, which is um, the, the host that we're actually running this virtual machine that we're looking at right now on. Uh, this is a Windows 11 VM with a NVIDIA L4 12Q profile attached. That means that of the available 24 gigabytes of frame buffer, we've sliced 12 gigs to this specific VM. You'll notice that it reports that there's 11 gigs available. This is just because there's a little bit of overhead, but uh, there's the L4 12Q profile. Now, when we jump into the VMware Horizon Performance Tracker, just to make sure that we're all good, we're noticing that we have a UDP, UDP end-to-end uh, -end blast session created here that means that uh, this is a truly optimized session um, and we're also taking advantage of the nvidia nv inc hevc encoder that means that the actual video session uh, that is being remoted to us is being encoded using hevc h265 by the gpu itself so the cpu on those servers is not encoding this video session um, and that's very important because if we had you know four 4K displays attached, and and if we were running quad 4K displays in a VDI session, we would definitely want that uh, offloaded onto the GPU instead of using the CPU on the servers. So um, I won't get into that too much. Now, one thing I, I want to point out here is that this environment that we're working with, this is actually running at a different location that is on a coax business internet connection. So the servers are sitting on 2.5 gig download 250 megabits per second upload, whereas the physical location that I'm currently at at the moment right now has three gig up and down. I have an IPsec tunnel going from this location to the location where my home lab servers are. However, Horizon should never be used over an IPsec tunnel um, or any type of encapsulation because that can interrupt blast and beat, which is the optimizations that occur in real time to optimize your VDI session. Um, so even though I have that IPsec tunnel, uh, with the client here, I'm actually connected over the WAN using a public IP to connect to that. Um, so just jumping into this, uh, just to further show what we're looking at inside of the VM here, I've opened up the DirectX diagnostic tool. You'll see again that it's reporting we have an L412Q. We have direct draw acceleration enabled. We have direct 3D acceleration enabled, as well as AGP texture accel acceleration. And we have a big enabled on DirectX 12 Ultimate. I don't even know what that is, but... Um, but all the 3D accelerated fancy stuff that we would like to see is working. So now just to showcase this, uh, I'm going to load up MechWarrior 5. Now, vGPU is normally used in enterprises or businesses for architectural and engineering workloads, along with uh, artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning, ML. Um, and even though that's what I do for a living with my VDI consulting is design, sell, implement, and support these solutions, um, it's still fun to have a little bit of fun with the technology. And I feel that this is a great demo to actually showcase uh, what, the, what the technology is actually capable of doing. But you know, it gets you thinking too, because um, with the gaming, essentially this is cloud gaming. So even though it might not necessarily be the primary use case for NVIDIA vGPU, it definitely shows that the technology is capable of performing and providing that type of use case. So I just want to, to mention here too that these servers are 10 years old that we're running this. Surprisingly, the NVIDIA L4 that I have installed in these servers is working. Uh, I had to go into the engineering menu on the HPE BIOS RBSU and enable 64-bit memory addressing, uh, but it works. The L4, I believe, is, poss is capable of performing at uh, PCI Express version 4. However, the servers I have are PCI Express 
uh, version 2. HPE, Dell, or Lenovo, if you're listening, I would love to get my hands on some new servers. Just throwing that out there as a hint. And you, so you're seeing that there's some very smooth, buttery frame rates here. And so even though I have a 4K display that I'm capturing here, I'm running Horizon in a 1080p windowed session. However, like if you were connecting, you could actually run Horizon full screen with this with multiple displays. And then now what I'll do is I'm just going to jump into Heaven Benchmark and just quickly show this. Now you'll notice that there's slightly a little bit of jitter and while the frame rate, the FPS on the top right, I don't know if you could see that, it's reporting 72 frames per second. Um, there's still a little bit of, of jitter with the Horizon session itself. And that's due to a number of things such as, um, you know, we could further modify some of the, the configuration so that we could get better frame rates. Um, and there are optimization technologies that are sitting on top of this trying to discard frames um, and do a whole bunch of other magic just for, uh, for the benefit of the user experience. Uh, but a lot of this can be configured and, and modified. And here's another example too, we're hitting 100 frames per second, but visually there's a, a little bit of jitter. And it's also worth noting too that I've, uh, for the purposes of this demo, I've disabled the NVIDIA frame rate limiter, um, which is uh, only supposed to be used for troubleshooting, um, benchmarking, and I've also done a couple modifications to the GPOs just to uh, make things a little bit more smooth. But anyways, that concludes my demo. I just wanted to show off what vGPU can do. It's, it's kind of cool. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in a comment. If you haven't already been to my blog at www.stephenwagner.com, make sure you go check it out. I do a whole bunch of blog posts on virtual desktop infrastructure, Omnisa Horizon, NVIDIA vGPU, and a whole bunch of the other various technologies that integrate with VDI. 
Um, I'm also available for VDI consulting. So if you have any questions, want to engage me or just connect, uh, feel free to do so. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.